In this video, I'll show you how to leverage Copilot agents to make your data analysis faster and very easy. Trust me, by the end of this video, you'll save a lot of time. All right, let's get going. I'm right here in Microsoft 365 Copilot and I am in the analyst agent, which you will need a paid M365 Copilot license in order to use it. If you can't find it, just go under all agents. It's an agent made by Microsoft. All right, I'll show you my first prompt, which will compare two financial statements together. So here is the prompt. Here's my goal. He helped me analyze my financial statements. I am a data analysis and I need to build a financial presentation for the board of the directors in the nonprofit community services and recreation industry, focusing on health, fitness, youth programs, and social development. I want you to compare the year 2024 with 2023, and I want you to do this step by step. First, give me a very quick executive summary summarizing your key findings. Two, create two pie charts for every revenue stream, one pie chart for every year. Three, give me a visual representation of the cost by year. And four, position yourself as a business analyst and tell me which area we shall focus on and why. I attach both financial statements for you to analyze. Please reference the page number. If you can't find the information, do not tell me a random number. I want you to tell me every page that you found the information so I can double check. And then I attach both of my PDF, which is a public company here in Quebec, 2023 and 2024 financial statements. You can see that the analyst agent made multiple steps because it has reasoning capabilities, right? It searched for key terms, it will code, it will extract specific pages, and it will do many steps, right? And what's important here is really the results. So let's jump to it, right? If I scroll down a little bit, you can see that the analyst agent gave me an executive summary. That's the first question that I asked him in my prompt. So very important to have a really detailed prompt. You can see here, total revenue increased by 4% and then many breakdown of the revenues, which is pretty cool for an executive, right? If I scroll down, I asked a pie chart, right? I want to show you the pie charts. You can see here right now, it's not really clean. It's hard to put that as is in a PowerPoint, but I have a solution for you. Don't worry about it. I made sure to double check all of the results, the numbers that were 100% accurate because Microsoft Copilot told me that everything was on page six for both PDF and that was true. And just a little parenthesis, the shorter your PDF is, the more accurate it is. If it's 100 and more pages, it might hallucinate a little bit. So for smaller PDF, this one was 20 pages each it did really well, right? Super interesting. We have 2023, 2024 pie charts. They're not clean though. I'll show you how to fix that. And see, we have some observations and we have a cost comparison by year, which we can clearly see in just a glimpse that our salaries and social benefits went up in 2024, the orange bar versus 2023. So pretty, pretty interesting here. And then we have the business analyst perspective, strategic focus that I also asked to co-pilot, right? And then, as I told you, the pie chart were not really cool. So I kept prompting to a co-pilot and I like to tell people to actually not give up when they receive bad results. So I said, for the revenue stream charts, could you group all of the small categories? Right now, my charts cannot be presented in a board deck, right? Copilot went again, the analyst agent for 28 seconds, and it gave me an updated revenue mix 2023 group, and it grouped this chart here, this pie of this chart, the green pie, uh, versus the previous chart, which was like all over the place, right? It did the same for 2024, pretty interesting, but I wanted to go further. I said, amazing. Now can you split the other category in a pie of pie chart so we can clearly see them broken down in another pie chart and look at the results, my friend. I think this is pretty interesting. Again, not perfect here. Some things overlap, but you can probably just cover it with a white shape, you know, pretty easy, but we can take this, download the chart right here, and we can take this as an image, put it in our deck, and it's a pretty cool made very quick deck. So that's what I wanted to show you with the first example. Let's get into Copilot in Excel for the second example of this video. And trust me, we're just getting into the tip of the iceberg of this video. You will be flabbergasted with my next example. So I'm in Excel right now. If I have my Copilot button at the top right, if I click on the little arrow just below the, the Copilot symbol, I can click on chat or the app skills. 
Right now, we'll click on chat. For the app skills, we'll get back later in this video. And trust me, you will find many, many cool things. Now we have just a Copilot experience inside of our Excel spreadsheet. And what I'll do, I'll click on the little plus right here. And I will click here on chat with an agent and I will select my analyst agent and I will do the following prompt, which salesperson contributed most to revenue growth in the fourth quarter of 2024 compared to previous quarter. And I have my data set right here, which is a typical sales data set, you know, with dates and column A, C, uh, I have my sales amount, I have my salesperson column E. And just for the records, this data set has roughly 2000 lines of data. So it works on pretty thorough Excel spreadsheets. Your data needs to be in a tabular format. And I will just let the Copilot analyst agent do its little analysis here. And I will get back to you in just a few seconds. After just a few seconds, roughly 60, just to be completely transparent with you, look at the answer right here. It says that Mocha Mike has 265,000 sales in Q4, and it's a growth of 65,000. And look at what Copilot did. I like what it did, actually. It said, here's how the others performed in terms of Q4 versus Q3, and it listed all of my sales people with their sales by quarter. Super, super interesting with a growth column. And I think it is pretty interesting when we're in a rush and we don't have time to do such calculation in Excel. We can just ask Copilot to do that for us. But what about I keep going and prompt Copilot again? I will say in the same conversation, compare performance across regions and suggest where to focus. My regions are in column D right here. And again, Copilot will take the time to analyze, reason, and I'll get back to you in just a few seconds. Here are the results, Copilot reasons for 79 seconds and I have my total revenue by region right here. It combined both years, but my prompt wasn't very specific. Just to be very honest with you, I highly advise that you get very specific prompts. It tells me to focus on certain region, et cetera, et cetera. But it just to give you an idea of what the tool can do. And also what's really interesting is that when you go back to M365, the app of Copilot, you actually can refresh your page and you will see in the conversation your conversation history right here, and you can pick it up online. You can see here, it's basically the same as in Excel, but it's online instead, and I can keep going. And again, I highly advise that you go really deeper in these problems. If you want specific regions only, you can go there. So basically, same deal if you go online versus in Excel. It's just you have a better, cleaner view right here, but in Excel, you can see your spreadsheet. By the way, if you enjoyed this video so far, make sure you give it a big thumbs up because more people will see it and it will be very nice for you. In the third example of this video, we are still in the Piggy Beans Cafe, but we are looking at costs. And I have a very basic data set right here with dates, categories, and amount. And we might want to add a new column that has the year and the quarter to it, right? So we can do filters and it's easier to do our data analysis. And you could be tempted to use the analyst agent just like I'm doing right now while talking to you to do so, but I will show you a caveat that is very important that you avoid doing that. So look at that. Analyst agent made a file, a new Excel file with a new column that has the quarter and the year. And you are able to download the file right here and basically it just made a new file. But if you do that, if you use the analyst agent to actually take action on your Excel file, you can see here that it got rid of my table. And if I have any Excel formula, it's going to get rid of them. So that's not the best way to do so. I will show you a little workaround and how you can actually use Copilot in Excel to do this task, okay? I will show you a different way. So we're not gonna use the analyst agent, but we're still gonna use AI to do that. And it's a brand new feature and it's called Equal Copilot. So you type directly into a cell. I'm in cell D2 right here. I will type Equal Copilot, open the parenthesis. And now what I'll do into quotation marks, I will say transform these dates into year and quarter format. Comma, I will select my date as a reference, and then I will close the parenthesis, enter, Copilot is loading, and now what I can do, just like a normal formula, I can drag down my formula, and I'll drag it down only to row 36, just to show you, because there is a limit currently, there's a limitation 
Copilot can only handle 100 lines with the equal Copilot feature. So that's not the best way, but I just wanted to show you how this works. And if I go change right here and I put 2025 instead of 2024, you will see cell D2 just recalculated. So it's dynamic based on your spreadsheet, but again, limited to 100 rows. So I will show you the real, real way to do that. I will delete my column right here, delete. And now what we're going to need to do that is we're going to click on the little arrow down here and we're going to go into the app skills, into the app skill. So the app skill is able to take action on your spreadsheet. It won't regenerate a new spreadsheet, just like the analyst agent did a few minutes ago. All right, I'm in the app skills. So now I'll say very basic prompt. I will say add a column that shows the year and quarter. And currently as of recording this video, this is the best way to do that because you will keep all your formulas and it's not limited to only a hundred rows, just like the equal copilot formula that I showed you a few seconds ago. And you will see that copilot is pretty quick. It will say here is your formula and I can just click here on insert column and you can see Column D will show you your year and quarter and you can filter if you want to double check. Here we go. We have Q3 of 2024 and only months from July, August and September of 2024. So this worked pretty well. All right, now we're back on the M365 Copilot into the analyst agent. So we're outside of Excel because I want to analyze two Excel files. So the revenues that we did earlier and the cost that we did earlier as well. And I will give a very long prompt that I will put in the description below downloadable that is very, very long, right? And you will be able to have a look at this prompt, but basically I give very, very many details to Copilot so it can do a very thorough analysis, right? So look at this prompt, very long, very hard to read on the screen right now. So I will just hit send and you will see that I give my essential KPIs to Copilot, my revenue insights, my cost insights, my I want an executive summary as well. Like I give every step that I want the analyst agent to do. And that's the strength of the analyst agent. It can do multiple steps and we'll see the results together in just a few seconds. All right, here are the results and I think it is so cool. So for every step that I asked Copilot, it actually did something. And I think this summary right here is pretty cool, right? It put two Excel files together. So it shows me my revenue for 2023 and my cost. I didn't have any cost for 2023, so that's cool. And you can see here the date that I've changed to 2025. We see it right here that there's $286. Copilot calculated my gross profit and my gross margin for every quarter. Pretty interesting, honestly. Then it gave me a trend chart. Again, it's what you ask in the prompt, what you will receive, right? So my prompt asked for a chart with revenues and costs on the same chart. Of course, there is a big delta in my personal data. So you can see that the charge doesn't really make sense, but I love the concept. I love where this is going and we can see the $286 of 2025 right here. And we can see some revenue insights, right? It gives me the top products uh, by, by product, of course, by region, by salespeople. And you know, it tells me also who are the worst sales people. Pretty interesting. We can see the top ca cost categories, of course, very little data in my example right here. And we have my executive summary in plain languages. It even gives me a suggested next step. It tells me, hey, Dave, you should fix your data recording process because your costs have nothing into them. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to learn how to build your own agent with some instructions so your agent will automate your repetitive tasks, you should watch this video right here and I will catch you very soon.